Hi everyone, in this video we will be seeing how to use Java function option in load runner Java Vigitor protocol. So once you have an uh, script created or once you have an added the jar file, if you know the jar file, which jar file you need to use and if you are not sure what method has to be used or what the class has to be used, then we can use this function. Uh, it's this option and this feature so this will generally help you to understand what are the methods and arguments available for the specific class or the object okay so now let's open the java function so make sure that you, you have selected the init action or n so if you go out of this action then it will not allow you it will not show you the option of java function so if you here you see the java function click on that so now we don't, uh, I'm deleting this here, which are previously already added. Yes, delete this, yes. Now see, now I'm going to add the jar here. So I'm going to add active MQ jars, just select open. So once you open this, uh, now the locations are expanded, right? So uh, just to close this, it will open the packages. Now we need to open the packages. Okay, you got the packages. So in active MQ, these are the all packages available. And uh, uh, if you open any of the class, any of the class, any of the packets, sorry, you will be having the classes. And if you expand any of the class, you will be having the methods. What are the methods available? So if you see that we have multiple packages here, so we need to use appropriate class. We can go to the all classes what we have now. And if you select the uh, uh, specific method you want to uh, want to add to your code, then select the specific method and click insert here. So if you click insert here, it will add the code to the uh, your action file where it was showing the yellow color at line number 28. So if you close this, uh, you can see your code. So if you want to add a runtime, if you want to add your jars to runtime settings, just close this. It will prompt to add. You want to add to a class path of random settings? Then click yes. It will add automatically to your random settings. Otherwise, uh, if you don't want to add, just you already. If you are already added, then no need to insert it. So yeah. Uh, now if you see that now the code has uh, uh, will be added here. Um, where we have clicked. So we we'll click one. We click on another function. We click another function now. Yeah, if you go to this uh, and this in the interface, this is exception. Insert. Insert. Uh, it will take some time to reflect on the code. Maybe okay, I will add the cursor here. So if you see that the code is adding here. Okay, so now let's remove, remove this. Remove this. And I'm placing the cursor at line number 29. Save. Open Java function. JMS. Expand, I'm expanding the Java, Java at JMS. So take any of the class here. So I'm taking non readable. So this exception insert. So basically we are inserting the exception. So if you close this. Uh, if you see that the exception has came down here. So uh, we have updated the cursor at the comment. So it was app updating the code in comment prompt previously. Now we got the actual code. So this is one of the features that we can use if you don't have any ID available in your machine. So thanks for listening to this one.